Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. Today I'm just going to do a partial teardown of an Acer Aspire 5750 series laptop. Uh, first thing we have to do is um, take anti-static precautions. So I'm wearing a wrist strap here. Um, also please make sure it's not plugged into the power and we'll remove the battery which is here in a second. Now another um, just be careful of is just to follow these steps at your own risk. So if you damage the machine don't blame me. Now as I said before we have to remove the battery here that's done by this little socket here just push it to the side and the battery itself will pop up which you can then easily remove. So I'll just put that to the side. Now the next panel or the main panel we want to remove is this one here. This is held in by two Phillips head screws. I've actually removed the screws already to make this video a bit quicker so once they're removed there's a little thumb hole here or finger hole which you can pull up and then you can see inside. That's just the bottom of the panel I've removed. Now in here we've got the hard drive and memory sockets and a Wi-Fi module. Memory has two sockets there. This laptop's only got one socket being used. Um, you easily just remove them by pushing the silver clips out and then pulling it out. To push it back in just push it in and then push it down until it clips. Memory modules held in by one little screw there, and we've also got two antennas. So just remove the two antennas, the one screw, and then you can pull the Wi Fi module out. The hard drive is held in by two screws, one there and one there, which are actually the same screws as on the, on the panel. So those two screws hold in the hard drive. With the hard drive, there's a little tab here, which we can just pull sideways to pull out. Now, sometimes I've noticed in these, um, they can get these um, mounting brackets can get stuck on that bit of tape there so you may need to get a, a flathead screwdriver or, or a knife under there just to loosen it so you can pull it out. Once it's out uh, you can see the hard drives there it's held in by a little mounting bracket um, with some plastic in the middle, clear plastics so it's, it's all one unit. That's held in by four screws, two on either side so you can then remove those, t those four screws take out the hard drive, put another hard drive in, a bigger hard drive or an SSD or what have you, screw it in and then you can just put, pop it back into the unit. So just push it in and then slide it across. Um, make sure the little tab as well is sort of down. Then we can put the back panel back on. Now the back panel has a couple of tabs down the bottom so just make sure you don't break them off. Just push them in first and then down. And there we go. So there's an optical drive here that's held in by one screw which is here. Just remove that screw, just a normal Phillips head screw and the optical drive will get removed. So there's the optical drive and it's just the standard connector. Now on this model there's another little panel here. Um, I'll just remove it. And I don't know if it's on, if it's specific for a different model or something, but as you can see on this one, there's actually nothing in there. Looks like that's something put, goes in there and slots in. Could be another card or something. There's no socket under there either, so I'm not sure what that's for. Perhaps one of the viewers can let me know and put it in the comments below. Anyway, that's it. Just a partial teardown and hard drive upgrade, memory upgrade, Wi-Fi module upgrade or battery upgrade of a Acer Aspire 5750 series laptop. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.